can cover the entire West African region with corn and create more jobs with it, Tinubu. The APC's Bolame Tinubu was seen discussing the value of maize to our economy in a video that is now doing the rounds on social media. The former governor of Lagos claimed in the video that he was unaware that the alcohol in hand sanitizer for the COVID-19 was made from corn. He also claimed that until he arrived in America, he had never heard of cornflakes. He claimed that if they produced more grain and planted throughout the West African region, more jobs would be created. In his words, I never knew that they called cornflakes until I got to America and it's from our corn. This alcohol that we are using for coronavirus, I never knew it was what it is from corn we grow here. How many of it can we produce? We can cover the entire West African region. Let us do it at home. We can do a whole lot of things at home. We can create the jobs. Since the video first appeared on social media, it has drawn a variety of responses. Well, it's not surprising. It's sort of the same conversation again and again and again. And I think as Nigerians, we should just be very tired. If anything... The conversation with Tinubu and you know this whole corn situation is it for Dodo? Is it for Gary? Like, it needs to change. And to be honest, the conversation is getting very tiring. There is no point talking about the inevitable. The inevitable in the fact that there are people that will support this man. This man literally has to say the alphabet A B C D E F G, and people will be rolling on their feet and saying, "Wow, what an amazing man and how competent he is." You cannot stop it. This is now a thing of individual preferences. Again, people can decide, you know what? He says this very smart works for him. Others that know would just say, listen, this man is absolutely incompetent. He should not even be in... He should not even be... His name should not even be in some of the class that, um, you know, of competent just contenders. But if you look at the situation, Nigeria has been used to such low standards, low standards of individuals going for it you know, for, um, without it, well, for any office anyways. But in this case, this man just happens to have a lot of money. This man just happens to have a lot of power. This man happens just to know how to manipulate, you know, young boys on the street to use them for their campaigns. Because you cannot say this man is not well exposed. You cannot say this man has not traveled out. You cannot say this man is to some degree, I'm not going to use the word educated, but knows in terms of how a country should be run and how it should look like and how to spend money this man i I think he did economics as you know his bachelor's degree i'm not saying you know if anything that should solve everything but the knowledge as to how money should be spent how the economy should work he's obviously benefited from the country so i feel like the conversation about him talking about corn should i don't i don't understand the conversation really is getting very boring. It's like our emotions and then on the line to keep talking about what this man is saying every single time, knowing it's not going to change. It's not going to change. The man will keep saying things like this and everyone will keep getting angry. But what can you do? This is something where we're not just, we didn't just happen to land in this place called Nigeria. What we are experiencing now is from years and years and years of just of first of all injustice and of course just bad leadership and then as nigerians we've gotten used to that standard so it's not like how do we then rectify it and then you're looking at somebody who has money and has power you're looking at somebody who was able to put people in power before he is even trying to you know be in power so the tactics he's definitely using are not ones of a sane normal country you can't use the tactics of oh let me go and explain to these people and prove myself as to why i should be president why should he do that why should he do that when he's put people in power and they haven't had to you know do anything tangible to work for it all he has had to do from the methods he's used to put people in power he's gonna use the same for himself what is that by going to people on the street and giving them 5,000 there and giving them food and deceiving them that for this session, this is what's going to happen to you. But then when he gets into power, he forgets them. It's the same tactic. So it's like, it's not surprising that Tinubu is 
saying all this we knew his association with corn and his love for corn and to be honest this is the only thing that has you know been the strength in his manifesto to be honest there really isn't anything else that's you know yeah there really isn't anything else that's special about whatever this man is going to say to be honest and no one can put their emotions and say well how can he be saying this and you're surprised you're only hurting yourself in the process literally well look at this com- um comment the the ancestors has they haven't told us the confidence that this man has with corn it is chickens that are fed with corn nigerians are not chickens you want to feed with corn do not turn us into chickens we deserve better well if you deserve better you would not give your attention to this man honestly honestly but then the inevitable is this guy has power and what can you do to convince people otherwise if you don't agree and say well i don't believe this person is competent to rule nigeria well it is what it is this man has a brain problem okay (laughs) news literally there's literally no point if anything emotions or time should be used in promoting who who you want to be in power but the inevitable is this and this guy potentially could become president could become again not saying in the justified or competent way he, he just could and there's no need to explain this bfr people call themselves obedient don't understand production and how to grow economically god bless takaba and god bless nigeria listen it's not the job of these people to understand i don't even understand why are you calling biafra obedience they're literally such different movements and i has come out so many times to disassociate themselves from it but some people decide you know what i'm ignorant and i don't care so they make obviously useless comments um the only thing me and tribu have in common is this love for corn so is that why you're going to vote for him? <laughs> but what is it with Tinubu and Khan, please? <laughs> Agba don't master. Well, it's, again, it's very laughable. Not surprising. Um, his, his statements about how he's developed Lagos, obviously, it doesn't even make sense. And if he's going to take credit for developing Lagos, well, that's a bit shameful because Lagos is not necessarily the best place, to be honest. There's a lot of business opportunities and hype, but... You claiming that you've developed Lagos, do not claim the island, claim the mainland, and claim everywhere where you have jobless, you know, jobless young boys who are, I guess, coined term as what? Thugs, agros, whatever the name is, and who are just causing havoc in the Lagos that he's claimed to have made. See, all his statements do not make sense. All his statements all go down to, you know, just promoting this already bad system that we're all living in called Nigeria. Oh, I think about this and don't forget to like and subscribe.